Hello, I am Nisha. Welcome to part 1 video class on Acid, Bases and Salts of CBSC Class 10 Science Chemistry. In this video, I am going to discuss with you some main things about the physical and chemical properties of acids and bases. In your 7th standard CBSC text, you studied about acid and base. What is the definition for an acid? An acid is a substance which can donate H plus ions. What is a base? Base is a substance which can donate OH minus. Can I give some examples of acids? Hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, acetic acid, citric acid. They are all examples of acids. Then what are bases? Bases are substances which can donate OH minus or hydroxyl ion. Can you give some examples of bases? Potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide. They are all examples of bases. Then you have also heard about alkali. In the alkali in varna. What is the difference between alkali and base? Alkali in varna, they are chemical substances which are bases and also soluble in water. So bases soluble in water ne anamala alkali ano varna. Bases the world apne dissolve in the area kiano. Abre ano anamala bases na galano bolniya family. Abre ano choriya member ana alkali. Sodium hydroxide alkali ne karay sodium hydroxide ro world apne ocha. It will be dissolving. So sodium hydroxide is an alkali. Ini na world apne worker dun down strong acid strong base. Link a weak acid, weak base on it. There is strong acid on it. There is strong acid on it. When in the presence of a suitable solvent, for example, water, if they are able to give H plus ions very easily, or if you have a lot of water, you can dissociate it, you can dissociate it, H plus ions can be radiated, you can use it as strong acid. Hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, you can use strong acid. Then what about weak acid? Dissociate it, you can use it. H plus ions are ready at Udukilla. Our animal is weak acids. For example, acetic acid. We will make an edible light of rare acids, weak acids, and citric acid. So, these are all examples of weak acids. In either parameter, we will make a concentrated acid, dilute acid, concentrated base, dilute base. Concentrated normalization, more amount of acid and less amount of water. Dilute is not the same. More amount of water or any other solvent and less amount of acid or base. That's why we have to use it. That is strong, weak, concentrated, dilute. Now, in this video, I am going to discuss with you some physical and chemical properties of acids and bases. In the physical properties, not now. Acid in the physical properties and base in the physical properties of the physical property in the main art of the external lateral factors. For example, color, taste, then refractive index, melting point, boiling point. They learn the physical property and all of the What about chemical property? Chemical property means how they react with other substances, how they react with water, how they react with uh, other metals, how they will react with metal carbonates. They can chemical property in the world. In this video class, I am going to discuss about the physical properties and chemical properties of acids and bases. So first one is physical properties. Now the seventh standard in the CBC class is about to under. What are the physical properties of acids? Acids are four properties are the first one is acids are substances which can give H plus ions. Second one is acids are sore in taste. Full point. Acid in it is having sore in taste. Then the next one is it turns blue litmus to red. And the fourth one is it is able to corrode metals. So these are the properties of acids. Physical properties. They are listen here. It's a physical property of acid. So first one is acids properties first one they can provide h plus ions second one is they turn blue litmus to red and third property is they are Sore in taste, and the fourth one is they can corrode metal, they can corrode or they can cause corrosion to the surface of metal. 
these are the physical properties of acids next is physical properties of base so the examples here is hcl hydrochloric acid hno3 nitric acid h2so4 sulfuric acid there are examples of acids then coming to the base so properties of bases are base they are provider of oh minus ions they turn red litmus to blue they are bitter in taste And the fourth property is they are soapy to touch. They are soapy to touch. So these are all some of the physical properties of bases. And what are the examples for bases? First one is calcium hydroxide. Or you can write magnesium hydroxide. All these are examples of Basis. So this is about the physical property, the main physical properties of acids and bases. This we have studied in the seventh standard CBC text. Next is indicators. What do you mean by an indicator? So we should have to see whether the given substance is acid or base. The chemicals or substances which are used to distinguish between an acid and base, we call those chemicals as indicators in this class i am going to explain about three types of indicators solution acid acid bitter in taste so we can test it with the help of indicators what are indicators indicators are substances which determines or which distinguishes between an acid and base. Mainly there are three types of indicators. They are natural indicators, synthetic indicators and olfactory indicators. First one is natural indicators. Second one is synthetic indicators. And the third one is olfactory indicators. What do you mean by natural indicators? From the word itself we can understand that these indicators that are obtained from the nature as such and another natural indicators are another like in the world plant in the gutana sap and the sap in the gutana litmus solution is an example for a natural indicator other land that land that is red litmus solution on the blue litmus solution on the then on the paper and over the link to either this deep green paper is the red litmus paper and the blue litmus paper. Either for a natural indicator. See what happens now. In the presence of acid, blue litmus turns to red. And in the presence of base, red litmus turns to blue. So that is an indication of whether the given substance is acid or base. Other pole or natural indicator on a Turmeric powder in the Manyanda body, and Karia, E. Karia, Karia, and the Madrasil would run the soap on the table. The color is changing. Soap is basic in nature. So, if the yellow color is remaining, that shows that the substance is acid. Either turmeric powder or the acid of the angle, the color will not change or the yellow color will remain there. If there is some bone, then there is turmeric powder and a basic solution to pour on the it becomes reddish brown in color. But when we soap it, it becomes red brown color right because in the presence of base, the turmeric powder is showing that reddish brown color. So this is a test to distinguish between an acid and base with the help of turmeric powder. Turmeric is natural. So this is an example for a natural indicator. Next one is synthetic indicator. For natural indicator, the second one is litmus. Second one is uh, turmeric powder. 
Next one is synthetic indicators. Synthetic indicators are man-made items. Chemicals. So, I'll learn the example number another. First one is phenolphthalein and second one is methyl orange. Phenolphthalein. And the second one is methyl orange. So what is the color of phenolphthalein? Phenolphthalein is a white color. It is a colorless side. It is a colorless side. It is a colorless side. In the presence of acid, it will remain colorless. But in the presence of base, it will be pink in color. It will be pink color. It will be pink color. The given substance is basic. Colorless side is a color. The solution given is acidic. In the warm sun, methyl orange is a color. In the presence of acid, it becomes wine red and pink in color. But in the presence of base, it will be golden yellow in color. Nalala light color, gold in the color, nalala yellow color form ji anangil. Nama letta solution basic karnu varay. Alla reddish brown anangil, or wine red color anangil, or pinkish color ke anangil karnu anangil. Nama varay the given substance taken is acidic. So these two are synthetic indicators to distinguish between an acid and a base. In the third one, Anna, olfactory indicators. What do you mean by olfactory indicators? From the word itself, we can understand it is an indicator which helps us to distinguish between acid and base with the help of its smell. Manam gonda. Nam karayam oniye. Oniye is having a sweet smell or ambulance is having a capsic smell. So, I am going to tell you, if you want to use the oniye and juice, you should have to dry it. So, that cloth will be having the tinging smell of this oniye. If an acid is dipped in this cloth, uh, the color will, the smell will be remaining that, or only in the smell, other than a retained gene, substance acidic anion. Because in the guys are only in orange is acidic, I only juice it is acidic in nature. Other than some idea, to me, other than idea, what the only juice dipped in that, or cloth, if you are showing it to base, or if you are putting it in base, if the smell is not the or if it lost this original smell of onion, that shows that the given substance is basic in nature. So with the help of the smell, we are distinguishing whether the given substance is acid or base. And then about the word of some vanilla, vanilla essence, and vanilla extract, and all the ice cream, like a cake, like a chocolate, and mano or lasana. It is having a characteristic smell. And if a little amount of it is poured in acid, that smell of the vanilla will remain the that shows that the given substance is acidic. If the same vanilla essence we are adding in base, the smell of that vanilla will be lost. That shows that the given solution is basic. So if the smell is remaining, it is acidic. If the smell is lost, it is basic. It is same in both the onion extract and the vanilla acids. So with the smell, we are distinguishing between an acid and base. So they are examples of olfactory indicators. So, I will the example of one vanilla, second one, onion. So, these two are examples of olfactory indicators. So, that is about indicators. Physical properties are no, indicators are no, and I will see if it is another. It is about the chemical properties of acids and bases. So, we can have the next one, chemical properties. So I told you, chemical properties means how they react with other substances, how they react with metals, how they react with metal carbonates. The acid in you, base in you, separate at the middle of First one is reaction with metals. First property is reaction with metals. This you are studying, you are earlier classes, that is in the first chapter I told you, the reaction of metals with acid. Reaction of metals. For example, active metals. Active metals are not reactive to series. Sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. Highly reactive. This will react with acid. Liberating hydrogen gas. It's a displacement reaction. For example, zinc plus hydrochloric acid. Zinc plus hydrochloric acid. Dilute hydrochloric acid. Immediately you will get a 
yes and one salt what is the salt see hydrochloric acid up in there you product zinc chloride is it and cl2 plus the gas evolved is hydrogen valence here and here to it's here and here single norma solid on a it's in or not aqueous and because it is dissolved in water zinc chloride is the salt here it is also in aqueous form and hydrogen is the yes in the hydrogen gas of the distinguish yeah it's not having a specific order it's not having a color then how will you distinguish hydrogen gas if a burning splinter is shown on the mouth of the test tube the flame goes off with a pop sound and either the tea party got the jitter only hydrogen will in a test tube in a mouth like in a mother with can angle pop on the sound in a flame at all that shows that the gas evolved is hydrogen in it is a reaction then सोडियमेंट Plus, which is the gas? The gas in all this hydrogen H two. So zinc in the solid state gets treated with sodium hydroxide solution. So the product is sodium zincate, which is the salt in H two is the N O two, and the gas in all this hydrogen. Have you tested hydrogen? When a burning splinter is shown on the mouth of it, the flame goes off with a pop sound. Next one is reaction of. So I told you reaction of acid and base with metals next is reaction with metal carbonates namga ayya vaathi parnirunu mona ayya video class ayya parnirunu carbonates are giving one gas what is that gas carbon dioxide appo endha reaction with metal carbonates can you give some examples of metal carbonates carbonates and bicarbonates both of them will react with acid to give salt water and carbon dioxide can you give one example for a metal carbonate sodium carbonate na2co3 reacts with acid hcl so what are the product salt plus water plus carbon dioxide what is the salt for sodium nacl plus water h2o plus carbon dioxide similarly sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate will also react with acid same product in here giving salt plus water plus carbon dioxide the amount of water and carbon dioxide will be different so the will be like nahco3 sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate plus hcl giving nacl plus water plus carbon dioxide so both carbonate and bicarbonate react with acid to give salt plus water plus carbon dioxide ibada parayanengi carbon dioxide there is also a colorless odorless gas so will you distinguish carbon dioxide by passing this carbon dioxide to lime water lime water turns milky calcium carbonate and down on the lime water milky avanengi namukku endu paraya the gas evolved is carbon dioxide so that is a test for carbon dioxide lime water turns milky then carbon dioxide is passed through it because of the formation of calcium carbonate insoluble calcium carbonate next thing is about bases generally bases are not so reactive with metal carbonates and bicarbonates bases will not react with we can say not reacting the reaction is not so popular or we can say the metal carbonates and bicarbonates reaction with bases is a complex one next is so namal pa rendu chemical properties onnu parnu onnu namal parnada reaction with metals ana rendu namal parnada reaction with metal carbonates ana ini ullana valare elupayittulla reaction ana namal kochu class ne padichirukkana that is reaction between both acids and bases acid and base kuda react cheyal ee sambhavikkum so that is the next one reaction between acid and base namu kariya it's called reaction between acid and base this is called 
Sodium hydroxide base and plus hydrochloric acid acid and so the product salt plus water so it's an example for a neutralization reaction NaOH plus HCl giving NaCl plus H2O you are right that is done for example calcium oxide is nature calcium oxide plus well, sorry not calcium oxide calcium hydroxide CaOH twice plus sulfuric acid and it is nature so the product will be calcium sulfate salt plus water can you see now let us see here in 4 will be right? 4 can go on. so this is an example for a neutralization reaction reaction between acid and base to give salt plus water salt plus water neutralization is full of water and water acid or base one again or a product salt I give but a product water I give this is an example for a neutralization reaction next one is fourth one fourth one reaction between acid and metallic oxides you know what is a metallic oxide what is the nature of metallic oxides give an example for a metallic oxide calcium oxide sodium oxide magnesium oxide metal and oxide are the acidic or basic you studied about it all metallic oxides are basic in nature. Metallic oxide is basic. Metallic oxide is basic. Metallic oxide is basic. Metallic oxide is basic. Acid acid reactive. Acid acid reactive. Acid salt plus water. So non-metallic oxides are acidic. Metallic oxide is basic. So metallic oxide will react with acid. And non-metallic oxide will react with base. So, first we can write metallic oxide. Here is the metallic oxide. For example, we can write um, calcium oxide. Calcium oxide plus, this is an example for a metallic oxide, isn't it? Plus any acid. Reaction between acid and metallic oxide. Calcium oxide plus HCl. What will be the product? Calcium chloride plus water. Calcium CaO plus 2 HCl giving CaCl2 plus water. Sodium oxide Na2O, sodium oxide plus HCl giving sodium chloride NaCl salt plus water because it's a neutralization reaction. What is this? This is an acid. What is this? This is a base because metallic oxides are basic in nature. This is an acid. This is a base. Metallic oxides are basic in nature. So what are the product? Salt plus water. Water balance here and 2 HCl, 2 NaCl. I think the equation is balanced. So, we are getting salt and water because here we are taking acid and non metallic oxide. Non metallic oxide is base. So, base plus acid gives salt plus water. Next one is last one reaction between reaction between and the Base and base are what are the non metallic oxide because non metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Non metallic oxide because non metallic oxides are acidic in nature. For example, for example, we non metallic oxide. Next to the example, carbon dioxide. Carbon is a non metal, so its oxide is carbon dioxide CO2. Plus base, air base. For example, we can take NaOH. NaOH plus CO2 giving sodium carbonate, that is the salt, plus water. So here also base plus acid give salt plus water. Here carbon dioxide is acidic, NaOH is base, acid plus base gives salt plus water because all metallic oxides are. Sorry, all non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Carbon dioxide is a non-metallic oxide. It is acidic in nature. For the world, example, carbon dioxide plus calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide is carry lime water. Lime water is a little bit of air. We exhale air. Exhale air is carbon dioxide. We have to do this. Lime water is milky. Milky is a little bit of because of the formation of K2. 
calcium carbonate. What is this one? Color of calcium carbonate? This milky white. But then, this lime water is milky. This reaction is going to be test for carbon dioxide. So, we are getting salt plus water. So, here the uh, calcium hydroxide is base. Carbon dioxide is the non-metallic oxide which is acidic in nature. So, acid plus base gives salt plus water. Question, I think it is balanced. Ano? Okay, question is balanced. So, calcium carbonate is the white milky precipitate formed. It is also a test for carbon dioxide which I told earlier. So, here non-metallic oxide will react with base to give salt plus water. Metallic oxide will react with acid to give salt plus water. So, in this video class, I told you about the physical properties of acids and base and chemical properties. Chemical properties are the reaction of acid with metals. Active metals will react with acid to give salt plus hydrogen. Second one is metal carbonates and bicarbonate will react with acid to give salt plus um, uh, carbon dioxide plus water. Bases will not react like acid. Then third one is reaction between acid and base. It's a neutralization reaction and the products are salt and water. Fourth one is metallic oxides are basic in nature. It reacts with acid to give salt and water. Example for metallic oxides are sodium oxide, calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, etc. Fourth one is reaction of non-metallic oxides. Non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature, so it will react with the base. And the product is a neutralization reaction in which salt and water is formed. For example, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, they are all non-metallic oxides. They combine with the base to form the corresponding salt and water. By this, I am going to conclude this video class. I think the video class is useful for you. Thank you.